right now, and I will say greetings, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Dreamscapes. Today we have our friend uh, Lou with us from uh, kind of the uh, northern or central California area, and he's going to uh, share a dream with us. Uh, as per my usual process, I'm just going to uh, sit quietly and listen uh, uh, while Lou goes through it beginning to end, and uh, then we'll see what we can what we can do to make sense of it. So I'll, I'll turn it over to you whenever you're ready. Uh, let's hear what you got. Okay. Um, so I was, I think that I was back in high school, but it was like, it felt, I've moved a lot of different schools in my life and it felt like the building was like a combination of a lot of different, uh, like of the, like I went to four different high school programs. <laughs> And it felt like a combination, but but the pe the students that were around me were from one school, and usually, um, it was from the school I went to my sophomore year, and usually, they, um, I I don't usually I have a lot of dreams where I'm back in school, but I don't remember a lot where I'm at this school um so it's interesting but it was also very much so like my middle school and because um this the the students at this school my sophomore year it was like kind of a big school there's a lot of kids but um, i went to a small Catholic middle school where there's just one class per grade and everyone went to the same classes so it's just like 30 kids who would go to walk together to the same classes and it felt like that except it was like like a thousand people rushing into their actually oh now now it's come now I'm remembering this okay so wasn't everyone going to the same rooms at the same time but it was like the hallways were constantly crowded like really really crowded with people like rushing to go to their rooms at the and they were all in like they all knew exactly where to be at the same time and like i had this sense of like i'm coming back i didn't it didn't feel like i it was like a normal day, like, oh, this is just a day where I'm going to school. I felt like, for some reason, I'm going back to school, <laughs> even though I graduated already. I'm going back, and so it was like kind of out of place. I was like not really caring <laughs> about, like, I didn't even know. I Everyone else was like knowing what their schedule was, knowing where to be. I didn't even know which room to be in. And I remember like, wa I like walked into one room and it was like a bunch of like kids who were like clearly younger than me and not my grade. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is probably not where I'm supposed to be. So I, I like sat down. I sat down for a second until I realized that. And then I walked out. But there's so many, so many students. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. And then, um, so I don't think I ever found, figured out where I was supposed to be. But I know I ended up sitting in some classroom, unsure of, like, whether or not it was mine, but also not really caring because I was like feeling like, well, I'm not even in high school anymore. <laughs> it, it like I didn't, I don't know, it didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, and when I when I did end up staying in one room, it was like I could recognize some of the students that were around me as my old classmates from my sophomore year um but i still felt like kind of out of place there and 
like <clears throat> I remember that like I was talking to these two other students and I was wearing um I was I was wearing this like I'll just show you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take your time. I love visual aids. I was wearing this fur. But I never wear this. Oh. And he was like he was this kid was like, Why are you why are you dressed like that? Like trying to be like I don't think he was like bullying me. He was just like making conversation that like jokingly bullying. I don't I think that's more it's more common in my generation because <laughs> there's I was never I mean I was never bullied. But I, I feel like kid people bully each other jokingly. Yeah. More T teasing. Um, teasing, yeah. Gotcha. And I was like I don't know, I just like to dress like a farmer. That was that's what I said. I like to look like a farmer. And they're like they laughed, but it felt like there was like a certain like they don't really get it. <laughs> um, that's as much as I remember right now. Okay, fair enough. That's that's plenty. Yeah, and uh, and uh, as I said uh, through my usual process, we we get so much more. We always do, uh, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, and, and anyone uh, watching the videos out there, don't worry if you can't remember every little detail. If you think you're coming in unprepared, everyone's forget something. Everyone's unprepared. We just do the thing. We talk. It's no, no big deal. And then that's, well, that's the end of part two. And that always takes longer. I mean, I think the dream took like four minutes to explain. The, the going back through it again took like a half an hour. Um, really? oh, right. I know it goes pretty quick, right? I, uh, and and uh, you never know. Like I've gone through some dreams with people where the, going back through it took an hour just, just because there were so many details to kind of pick through. And I never know. I, mm -hmm. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll get a lot better at this and I can squeeze it down, but uh, 10,000 hours working on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So before I get into making any suggestions, uh, I like to ask people now that we've been through it once and a second time in a lot more detail, did any, did you have any light bulb moments? Any, oh, I get it. Um, what, uh, what may have occurred to you? Yeah. I don't know, but I don't entirely know what you mean, but I remember one detail that I didn't. Sure. Include was, uh, I don't remember which classroom it was in, but I remember recognizing the teacher okay. as my middle school English teacher. Do you think it was in the um, class with the kids, with the younger kids? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember which, which one it is. It might have been, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, sure. fair enough. That would be that would be consistent with the imagery, saying just to give you that yeah. full experience of this is what this room is. Do you get it? Do you see all the the indicators, but it would be a different thing if it was the middle school teacher teaching in the sophomore class and yeah. out of place. Uh, I think if it was out of place like that, it would have stood out to you more and said, yeah, he was in the, he was in the wrong room or this is why would he be teaching this class? So it probably it was in the other room. Um, no, what I mean about uh, light bulb moments is sometimes as you're describing something, you, you describe one thing and then you describe another thing and you go, Oh, those, Oh, when I put those two things together, suddenly it makes sense. Uh, sometimes people do, sometimes people don't, but I like to ask about that before I get into making suggestions so I don't influence your own connections first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, do you mean like uh, a light bulb of like what it might mean? Yeah. About? Yeah. Little eureka moments. This I, I watch it on video. Sometimes I see people's face and they, they do this, they go, Oh, and it, bam, it comes to them. Something mm -hmm. fits. Uh, you don't have to have an answer, but I like to ask first. Uh, so I don't know if anything comes. Um, to mind. I think when you're asking me about, um, like how I felt when I was interacting with the other students in the classroom, I felt like 
that wall that I was describing was very... I mean, it doesn't feel like I'm realizing something. I, I feel like I know that this is probably a reoccurring um, theme in my dream. Yeah, but, now, now might be a good time because you'd mentioned earlier that you, you had this one dream just today, and it seems to be connected to other themes and other dreams. So what, what are those connections? Go ahead. I guess... It's kind of hard to describe, but I've, I, I've, for some reason, like, a lot of, I haven't had so many recently, but I used to, like, all the time have um, dreams where I was back in middle school, specifically, and, like, I haven't spoken to any of those people in years, in, like, a really long time. Yeah. So I, I don't, I can't, I couldn't des describe the significance of that or what it means, but it's just, I guess, to me, it kind of interesting, probably boring to other people. Cause they don't, maybe, maybe. Like to, well, but, I, I, I think there is something there, uh, especially with, okay, so general theory on reoccurring dreams, those images, the, the places, the experiences, maybe even the people, they, they, especially with reoccurring dreams where you get the same type of thing in multiple instances, it represents, it tends to represent a theme, an idea, a, 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 an ongoing unresolved thought process that you're trying to, to reach some kind of resolution to. And it's, it's your brain's returning to that imagery because yeah. it just hasn't gotten an, an answer yet. So uh, I think there is something to that. It's, it's, it's going to be, central to something you're dealing with, something you're trying to process or make sense of. Um, yeah. What, what are some of your general thoughts about your life now compared to middle school or experiences from that age that maybe you haven't fully come to terms with resolved processed? What do you think? Well, I guess some of the feelings of like uh, that I described in the dream because I, I feel like I could have this dream a long time ago but it would be like it felt like I was having this dream this theme in the dream again but like as an older person looking back but not because like I kept saying I, when I said I felt like I should be nervous but it felt like a joke like, I feel like I could have, I would experience something, not exactly this, but something maybe kind of like this a long time ago. And I would be like, oh, God, I need, to, I need to get to my class and I need to, oh, I, I can't relate to these people. I feel so out of place, like yeah. something like that. I think that but, is a, a significant difference. The idea that in maybe past dreams, you would have felt that uh, panic, awkwardness, embarrassment, yeah. uh, judgment. And now you're like, I'm so over this. I'm, I am now someone removed from that experience to sufficiently that it doesn't cause me anxiety yeah. anymore. I could be in the wrong place. But and I was yeah. still in the same scenario though. It was just my interpret. It was just like my, how I felt about it was like, um, I don't know, like ex more accepting of and less trying to like do something about it. Yeah. Kind of. And I mentioned that, uh, uh, the word judgment specifically, because you know, a lot of, a lot of what we're nervous about is that other people will reject us or that other people will think we've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you're more confident in yourself, mm -hmm. if, if you've moved beyond feeling the judgment of a specific type of scenario, then returning to that scenario in your mind, you don't feel the anxiety uh, that someone's gonna tell you you're doing something wrong. You're like, yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm very obviously out of place in this middle middle school classroom. But now I'm I'm old enough and uh, so far beyond actually being in that being that person in that scenario that now it no longer has that emotional impact on you in the same way it would. Um, I think that is. Uh, something significant. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you make of it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, 
Yeah. It's, it's interesting. For sure. And you, you're not, uh, you don't have to have more to say on it. If, if you do, that's fine. If you don't, uh, yeah, no, I, it's just like, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to think about that more. Sure. Sure. For, for future dreams. Yeah. Well, uh, very often, and you'll, you'll, you may find this too, just talking about this experience and this imagery and getting some more words associated with getting, getting a little more clarity on how you feel about it after the fact, it should change the nature of these dreams going forward. You may find yourself in some similar scenarios, but your experience will be different. Or I've had people where like they have a recurring dream until we talk about it and then it never comes back. Like we talk about it and really look at it. And once they've made sense of it, it doesn't need, it doesn't need to happen anymore because they've, they've kind of got it. Uh, and that's usually what it is. This, this was why they say dreams are trying to tell you something. It's not like the dream is a thing and it wants to communicate. It's your mind trying to make sense of something. And when you get that sense, yeah. when you, when it makes sense, you can put it down. Um, just the wheel spinning, just wrestling with a problem with an idea. Um, well, I'll, I'll do this and go back to some of my notes here. I, so what stood out to me is, uh, you're, you're in the hallways and these hallways remind you of your middle school and everyone else seems to know where they're going except you. And they're going there, per, they're pursuing their chosen goal. And that is specifically to get to class on time in a, in a, in a very efficient, effective manner with purpose. Um, and I, I think there's something there in that idea that it seems like everyone around you has got their shit together. They know what they're doing and here you are going, I'm lost. When, when you think of those, when you think of that idea, what, what comes to mind? I mean, um, I think I definitely felt like that at my sophomore year school where everyone is so preppy and like did, you know, and like, uh, I feel like that's how I felt throughout all of school and up until I graduated high school at least. Okay. And then, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was kind of a loner. <laughs> Fair enough. But that was, when, yeah. when you think of that experience, that kind of sounds like it sums it up. Like, God, just everyone else around me seems to have their shit together and I'm mm -hmm. not sure what to do. Do you still feel that way today? Or are you kind of... Um, she, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that definitely... You look at peers your own age and, and people are... And they, they seem to be finding a path or they appear to be walking a path with purpose. And yeah. you're a little less decided on some of those issues. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's kind of emotional for me, to be honest. But I think that's pretty relevant i think it is i think that's probably yeah. related to why you're having that dream imagery is the way you're feeling today the way you were feeling when you went to bed last night is still struggling with that issue of what am i doing here what what am i even doing and why does it seem like everyone's got their shit together but i'm lost uh so that, that yeah. dream, dream imagery comes back uh um yeah yeah, I can, I can, if looking at it that way, I can connect it to um, some other themes that I've had, <laughs> kind of, that I think I've had. But Do you want to say a little more on that? or uh... I, because this isn't really a reoccurring, like, I have reoccurring dreams that are, like, a lot more specific, like, specifically like being chased a oh, lot yeah for 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 doing something bad like okay. really bad that i don't remember doing but gotcha was that it, some like, of the other dreams we, we were thinking of maybe talking about and then we you had this one well i i i kind of i want to come back to you another time and tell you yes. about that. We should probably do one dream, dream at a time. Otherwise it gets, yeah. it's beyond me to put them all together. Yeah. I have to do yeah, multiple. I wouldn't want to try to put it all together right now. That's fine. But, yeah, but it and is, I'll, I'll, I'll want to, it'll, I'll probably have another dream where I'm being chased. 
Yeah. And I'll tell you about it. That's another theme that it, it definitely, if it seems to be reoccurring, there's something, there's something going on there that is probably yeah. important to you. Yeah. Uh, but for this one specifically, you said, yeah, you, you're still having kind of that. Is, is it okay to ask how old you are? Uh, I'm 19. 19. I, yeah. you know, once upon a time, and this is just almost completely tangential and, and kind of embarrassing to me, but I, I thought of a clever book title of uh, uh, The Great Dep- Depression of the 1920s. That was the title, but it was written 19 slash 20. And it was about, it was about, the idea was to talk about why people struggle at that age and why it's depressing to confront the world and find a place in it. And you you feel, uh, and I'm never going to write this book. I have book ideas all the time. Sitting down to write is just beyond me. I can't focus that long. I can have an hour long (laughs) conversation about a dream. I can't take two months and write a book. It's never going to happen. But, but the general idea is um, it is a, period of pathfinding you're you're looking at all of these options and you're like i can go anywhere i can probably do anything what do i want and where the fuck am i going and no really nobody yeah. knows you're, you're in a you're in a yeah, perfect place that's definitely relevant i think that's <laughs> definitely part because like lately i've just been feeling like that like i don't even i hate online school i hate being so bored and not knowing what i'm going to do with college no like not knowing what i'm going to do in the future it's like i think that's definitely relevant yeah and i think that's one of the greatest failures of our education system currently is a lot of kids come out of it with basic skills but not a lot of purpose and not that i want schools to to, to be focused on telling people what they should do but helping them identify options what they're good at what they enjoy um, like if I can make a living doing this, I'd probably say this every day. Hi, contribute to my Patreon. Uh, I would love to just do nothing but talk to people about their dreams for yeah. a living. This I love. This is not even work. This is just fun. Uh, so I wish I had known I could even try this t- 10 years ago. Uh, but, yeah. but yeah, that's the kind uh, of thing. You definitely could, to be honest. You, you could what? You, you could, I think you could. Oh, I could. Th- thank you. I hope so. I'm giving it a, uh, I'm giving it 110% to see if this actually works. Maybe it catches on, maybe it doesn't, but I get to feel good about, you know, I tried, I tried, I gave it my hundred percent. It didn't work mm-hmm. out or it did. Um, but that's the first step is identifying what do I want? It's like any journey. Uh, what is it when you, when you pull up Google maps, uh, please enter destination. Otherwise you have no path. Where, where are you going? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, I love that metaphor too. It's like, you can go anywhere you want, but you got to decide where you want to be. Um, and it's okay not to know. That's the process is thinking about what do I want? Uh, and then you eventually pick it. And I think that's part of what this dream is telling you too, is, uh, um, about that. And, but I think the dream is also about, so the first classroom you went into was full of the kids in middle school and you're in the hallways in their middle school and you're in the classroom and it's middle school kids and immediately you feel out of place, but you're not anxious or embarrassed about it. You feel like it's a joke. My, my thought on that was this is part of yourself saying, I don't belong here anymore. This is not the, this is not my place anymore. This is not where I'm, this is not where I am currently in my life. Is, is that, does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Actually, because it, it makes a lot of sense because I wasn't anxious about it. I was just kind of like, this is like letting it pass, letting it, you know, letting it go. Letting it I go, just, yeah. Okay, like, I, I was like, oh, ne- okay, well, that's that's not, that's not what really this is. Next, let's go to the next thing. Yeah. And yes. and you you could have had a very different dream. You could have had a dream that said you you sat down in that room and even though you were obviously much older, you felt like you were trapped in that room and couldn't get out for whatever reason your emotions yeah. were holding you in place. No, but this dream said very immediately, look at this place. You remember this place? This is a place. This is not your place. Get out of here. And you and you moved on. And so you're putting it literally putting it in your past, moving beyond that experience and those, uh, emotions or ideas. Uh, and you moved on to another classroom that had peers, your age was very obviously more of the sophomore, uh, uh, experience. So closer to who you currently are. Uh, 
and you sat down near people who were your friends and you had a, an interaction with them that was uh, a communication of their uh, friendship. It was, it was a communication of connection in a, in a teasing manner. And so, so part of me would say that's your personality. You enjoy joking around with friends and giving each other a hard time. Is that right? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. And a lot of people do that. That could, yeah. it could very easily not have been your style, but if it is your style, then that was uh, overall positive interaction with these folks. You sit down, you're wearing a, a, an interesting shirt and your friends are going to tease you. What's with the shirt, man. Uh, and that, so that sure, and yeah. it didn't, it doesn't feel threatening to you. It didn't feel rejecting. They weren't like ostracized. He is not wearing the proper shirt. Um, yeah. 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 But I also think that, that is relevant too. I think there's something there to the kids in the class and the sophomore class are dressed down, but you're dressed up a little bit. There's, there's a feeling of separation there as well. Like uh, again, that you've moved on from that representation of what they are towards something else more professional. Mm, the, the maybe I, I, I don't know if necessarily I would like, put myself above them but I, did, I do feel like there was a sense of being in a just in a different like uh, not like area of maturity but just in a different like like almost like speaking kind of a different language you know yeah you did mention that it's like they didn't understand you there was a wall beyond which yeah. some there was a dis disconnect. Yeah. And I think that's another, another example of what, what happened in the middle school classroom is, is these are not my people. I am not of them at this point there. That's something else. And, and you have that same experience again in, in more of a microcosm way of like, definitely you're older. You're not in your sophomore year now. Um, so you are in a sense above the representation of those kids at the time. So if, if we were to assume yeah. yeah, that your self in the dream was your current self and it was showing you again, that difference that, uh, and it's, it's okay to, it sounds judgmental. I know to say above them, but, uh, but you are now more experienced, more knowledge, yeah. um, those different things. And I think there was something interesting in the idea of saying that you like to look, look like a farmer. And I don't know that means yeah. you literally want to be a farmer in life, but, but I like that concept. And, and maybe if we play around with the idea mm -hmm. of the word farmer, um, a farmer is, uh, is productive, pr produces literally produce, uh, creates something people need, uh, works hard for a living, gets dirty, sweaty, works with machinery or animals. Mm -hmm. There's, what when you think about what it means to be a farmer or to to produce and hard work, do you relate any of those concepts to what you were yeah, trying to express? Yeah, I think definitely that's how I want to be. That's that's also that common is definitely something I'd say in real life. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but also yeah, I can. I think that's I. Those are things that I value and want. I feel like my higher self wants me to go towards you know what i mean like because i feel i i feel like right now that's not at all where i'm at like uh, right now where i'm at is i'm just living in my apartment with my dad doing online school <laughs> in quarantine you know yeah so going to the grocery store every couple of days <laughs> you know that's what's i was when I was in Oregon, I was on a farm. Okay. That's what I was doing in Oregon. What did but, you but, like about that? Your face kind of lit up there. Like that experience was good. Because um, you took something away from it. I mean, it was just kind of like a little adventure. I went off by myself. I was like backpack, backpacking, hitchhiking mm -hmm. over there. It, but like, um, I was just doing, I was just a farmhand on the little farm in Oregon yeah but yeah it was fun I like I like it it was like in the middle of nowhere in the forest yeah what what did you find fun about that experience what was the what was the positive um, you you experienced while you were there or that you took away from it I 
I worked like um, with plants. I, I planted things. I weeded the garden. I was outside. I, I was in a tent. I was constantly outside for a month. <laughs> um, showering in the creek and <laughs> eating like organic, really good organic food that I would make for myself. And the other uh, guy working there. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's just kind of what I like. Yeah. You know? So being able to be outdoors, working with your hands and digging in the dirt. And did you get to see things you grew mature and then be able to harvest it? I wasn't there long enough. Not long enough. Okay. Yeah. But you were able to harvest other things that had been planted before? Sorry? Were you able to oh, har um, harvest things that had... Not really. This was like kind of like a, a new thing for me that I started just this summer. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, but, but, but it was an enjoyable it experience and yet yeah, you would do it again and, and yeah. you came away from it feeling good about it. Uh, yeah. So there's, I, yeah, I think that part of the dream is significant. There's something in that experience that gave you inspiration, showed you the, at least the hint of a path that you might want to follow, whether it is literally being a farmer or not, but something about that farming experience uh, the, yeah. showed up in the dream to say, to tell you, you know, not only are you not still in middle school, mm -hmm. that's a long time ago. And all of these people that thought they knew where they were going, um, while you were lost, you kept moving through the dream from that feeling of being lost to identifying areas where you're not supposed to be, or don't want to be to coming to a place closer to where you are now and comparing it to recent experience and saying, you know, I'm not here anymore either. I'm somewhere else. And, and showing you kind of an open, a door opening on a new possibility. I don't know if any of this is making sense. No, I, I really like that perspective a lot. I think that's a very good, um, kind of spot on. And, um, I wouldn't have, um, made that connection myself but I think that you're right and I think I, um, it makes me feel good to look at it that right okay <laughs> good deal I mean I wouldn't just uh, I wouldn't just blow smoke uh, smoke at you uh, unless I believed it was true but and I think that's I think that's all in there I think that's all whatever you were experiencing in the last week or specifically yesterday it brought these ideas to mind and your brain said, let's process that while we sleep. What, what am I thinking? What, what do I need to understand? Yeah. I think that's, I think that's what happened. <laughs> it makes sense to me anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, so these things don't have to drag on for two hours. If we came to something that makes sense and you feel good about it. Uh, yeah. I, um, I, I usually ask folks if there's any part of the dream that stands out that we just didn't focus on enough that, seems important you got nagging questions or a loose end somewhere maybe you do maybe you don't um, not really no I okay think it's, yeah, it's better. i think um maybe i don't think it, it's super significant but like if you want to if you're interested but i think the teacher is kind of a little bit yeah um, I forgot, I forgot about that. Say something about the teacher. How, how, now that you've it's, got kind of that broad strokes picture of what the dream's about, because, yeah. how does he fit in? Um, well, I, like when I was saying that I would be, you know, if I had this dream a long time ago, I would be like really anxious in the dream. I think the teacher would very, <laughs> would very much so contribute to that. Like I'd be scared of the teacher, but they'd say, yeah. Or like being put in place by the teacher. But your experience in this dream was you had no anxiety about the teacher either. You moved so far beyond I, that. I judgment. felt like there was no authority over me by the teacher. Yeah. And just that general feeling you were talking about as well of like knowing you were not in school anymore, even though you're physically in the dream in this school environment, it's like you've, 
this this idea of I've moved so far beyond this it doesn't even affect me anymore. The, the idea of walking into be like if you walked into a school today you wouldn't want to bother anyone but you wouldn't be nervous about oh no the teacher's going to judge me because I'm late. You're not in the class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good deal. The, uh, the only other thing, and I actually remember is coming back around to the lights in the hallway that you notice them specifically. Oh. Yeah. And it's not mind blowing, but now in this context too of, I think in this, in this specific context, the lights being dim or broken or old would tend to enhance that feeling of being lost in the hallway. You, like you can't see clearly the lights are dim. Some of them are missing completely. This, I think it was just enhancing, <clears throat> excuse me, enhancing the imagery of, uh, remember how lost you felt, remember how difficult it was to see the path and know where you were going. I think now that the lights make a little more sense in that way, unless you have a different idea. No, I think that I agree. Yeah. I think it, it contributed to like the, uh, it being kind of confusing, like orchestrated chaos of the, hallway traffic yeah good deal well i think we uh i think we got something pretty yeah, pretty interesting you. out of that Very process much. oh i enjoy it so much i really do thank you for being here um and yeah, yeah if you'll hang out just like a couple of minutes afterwards i'll say uh goodbye to everyone thanks for watching another <laughs> uh, episode of dreamcast uh dreamcast keep, keep saying dreamcast got sega on my mind dreamscapes i'll get my own branding right one day uh please <laughs> like share subscribe do all that good stuff uh Someday maybe I'll have a bug. Not yet, but uh, anyway, thanks for listening. And, oh, and thank you, uh, Lou, for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thank you.